Fly vs. Yark is back for the 15th edition. And as usual, we have a starting field full of legends mixed with new shooting stars. Catch with Care has been around for the longest of all the teams in Fly vs. Yark. And this year, Stefan Trumstedt once again has his old friend Pierre Monnieret with him on the boat. For the first time in one and a half decade, we have a new fly fishing team. Team Hardy Grace with Erik Miller and Jonas Pöls. Team Kingfisher Ryzen with Matthias Foll and Marius Miesen have swapped their light perch rod to heavy duty pike rods and are ready to make a stand in Fly vs. Jerk. Team Jigar.nu with Björn Boström and Jakob Hank qualified into the competition in 2017 and has since then won the hearts of the audience and remained at the absolute top of the charts. Team Bullseye are making their first ever start in Fly vs. Jörg and in the boat Marcus von Eu and Tim Ackermann. Team Frap Cetrix with Anton Fisherman Antonovic and Robert Walters makes their first appearance in Fly vs. Jörg. Team Relax, we now know from last season of Sander Pro, but now Danny Kowalczuk and Andy Srybutek make their first appearance in Fly vs. Jerk. Team Nastroff entered Fly vs. Jerk last year and Daniel Wires broke the big fish record right away. This year Daniel brought the tallest guy in the market. Welcome Sander Gronenbaum. Fly vs. York 15 is brought to you by Leech, polarized sunglasses for fishing, Watski, your online store for boating equipment in the Nordics, Golden Catch, fishing essentials for every angler, JR Logistic, staffing and recruiting of warehouse workers and truck drivers since 2003. My favorite Fly vs. Jerk memory is very simple. Holy shit! The pike I got last year, it was the biggest pike in 14 years of Fly vs. Jerk. Oh, he slapped you. <laughs> oh my god. In recent seasons, we have been spoiled with big fish and new records. And now, this year's eight teams are getting ready to make history. Congratulations to that 15.8 kilo pike, but records are always made to be broken. You have to be able to perform under pressure. You know, you're gonna have your ups and downs. You're gonna lose fish. You never know what's on the other side of the line, you know, until, you know, you get the feel of it. But the strike itself, magic. We both watched it from the first season on and, and are kind of addicted to it. And now it's a dream coming true. Everybody is a good fisherman. It's not about if you're good or not. It's, it's more about uh, in your head. You need to, to be focused from the first cast to the last cast. If it's only one bite, we will wait for that bite. Doesn't matter, we can cast 10 hours. I follow Flavio Jerk from the very, very beginning. And uh, if somebody told me that uh, I'm going to be in, in Flavio's Jerk, well, I would never believe. I mean, the show is uh, top of the top. Flavio's Jerk is probably the most difficult pike tournament that exists. We are really proud and it's a big honor to be the only fly fishing team. It's a big honor. Honestly, the worst thing that can happen to us is that Mother Nature won't let us to even go out on the boat fishing. Wish us good luck. Ah, uh, big fish. Are you ready? Let's go. Eight o'clock. Let's do this. It's time for the competition to begin. Keep on using. Keep on using, guys. Okay, so power, sleep. Let's try. It's now 8 a.m. So River Day has officially started. For this day, it's only allowed to use live sonar to search for structure or fish. The teams can fish wherever they want in Europe and this is where the teams have chosen to start the competition. Three teams in Finland, one team in Sweden, three teams in the Netherlands. And now, for the first time, we have a team in Poland. Everybody's already fishing, had their first cast, I think. We are still waiting. 35 minutes of fishing wasted. We're already waiting for more than an hour now. And it's opening, it's opening. All right. Okay, are you guys ready? Woo -hoo! Let's go! Big fat boat and baits for a million. All is custom and cost like a trillion. Crossing the lake in 40 knots. Catching big, oh, yep. connecting the dots. 
<laughs> I'm not the one that's Andy, it's you. <laughs> he spent all night preparing lures and, and different accessories, I think, till like two, three in the morning, and now he can't find them. <laughs> but you know where they are. Maybe I have some extra somewhere, Andy. But things are very, very expensive on the boat. <laughs> Whether it's financially or favors. <laughs> but isn't that every fisherman? There's so many lures on the boat. No, he needs that specific one in that specific color because if not, he won't catch anything or he won't feel good the rest of the day. Problem, my stinger. My stinger, everything, my car. <laughs> it's a really cold morning and the ice is building up in the, in the reel, in the guides, and every pike fisherman knows this. When you fish in really cold weather, it's around minus five, minus four. But uh, we manage, we manage. Wait, fish there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, good, good, good. Okay, okay. Net. Yep. Jesus Christ. Net, net, net. I don't have a net. Jesus. Net, put it in there, put it in there. Run, Andy, run. Wow. Oh, <laughs> grab my stick, Andy. No, boss. Oh, that little box. Oh, okay. Very big problem. <laughs> I thought it was Lewis too. Yeah. We came back for for weights. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, Andy. <laughs> I'm going fish. Yes. It's like an addict. I need it. I need it. I need the 12 grams. I need the 12 grams, not 10 grams. It won't work. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Net, net, net. I don't have it. Net. Jesus. Net, put the ender. Just the ender. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Okay. We have it. Oh. First bite. Not a giant, but good fish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. Cool! I can tell you I feel it there. It was the bait fish on the yeah. shore first set. Ooh, nice Oof. fish on the, nice take on the double mouse. That was but good. the net. The you, net. You, you haven't fixed that one. Yeah, I don't know, you are the net master. <laughs> Jesus Christ. But I like it. When, when Pierre is saying, the net! <laughs> it's a fat one. Yeah, it is. It's a beauty. That's an eight kilo fish. Ooh, ooh nice one. I can feel it there. We saw the bait fish coming with the nice backwater and the take was so hard. She take it good. Good. Yeah. Hello. Hello. <laughs> okay, take the ender. It's uh, minus five. It's really tough conditions. Everything is ice. So even the, the net, the, the stop here. Okay, just put yeah. it through, completely through. Yeah, I try and, to. And you twist here. You do it like... Yeah, yeah, but you can't. Yeah, but we do it like that. Like, now it's, now it's yeah. okay. First bite for us, not surprise, on the mouth. This one is a double, so it's just a bit bigger, it's quite cold, and I want to have a really big profile. She take it really hard, well, that was not a small nibble. It was like, boom, some, some take. Ooh, that's a fat one. Zero here. One, two, three, four, five, six. 107. She's eight kilo. I think so. Right. Now it's exactly 10 kilo. 10 kilo, that means 9.2. 9.2 kilo, 107, beauty from the river. On the we double mouse. Back. Double mouse. Oh. Dirk whisper, double tail. What a take, eh? Yeah, super take. Oof. Put it back. Fly with the jack 15. Let's do it. The weather is really, I want to go back to bed. You know, they're on the bottom. Laying there, you see it? You see two there, just below the boat. I know, and that's why I'm gonna use Hulken. Black Pike doesn't do the trick, Hulken will. Right over there. We had three contacts over there. Uh -huh. I think we're going here in the deeper area, then we go there, right. yeah. around there, and then go back. Then we analyze. Getting back to the car and cry, is that an option? No, that's no. not an option. Oh yeah, a decent fish, decent fish, hurry up. What the f***? This is, this is a meter fish, man. Nice! Whoa! 
Sorry guys. Good first one. Good first one. Woo! Ah, nice, Jacob. High five, high five, high five. Kuma swim from Bite Oblique. Hulken is the color. BKK UVO hooks. I knew it would do the trick. There, 89. 89. A good start. Really good start. Nice fish. First fish. Yeah. You know, meter, not need. so much. <laughs> not a meter. <laughs> it's a meter minus 11. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's, it's, it's a start. It's a good fish. Yeah. Uh, and let the hinger go. Let's catch some more. Good job, Jacob. All right, so the fish seem to be turned down in Scandinavia this morning. Team catch with care with a fish close to 10 kilo. And now Bjorn and Jacob with a decent pike of 89 centimeters. For those of you new to Fly vs Jerk, three points will be given out each day. One point for the heaviest pike, one point for the highest combined length of their top five, and one point for the highest number of pike. First cast. Let's go. Let's not get a strike on the first cast. That's always bad luck, you know? You might think that Team Neistroff needs no introduction at this point. But this year in Fly vs Jerk, we have a face you might not have seen before. Last year, despite not being able to take home the win, Daniel Wires caught an amazing pike of 128 centimeters, which set the record for the biggest fish ever caught in Fly vs Jerk. This year, he joined by another Dutch tournament angler, Sander Groenboom, in a second attempt to take home the trophy. What I like the most about pike fishing is the visual strikes that you usually get from them. It's always a unique fishery, I think, and you do it together with friends. For me, it's, it's not a, a, a single type of fishing. If you catch pike like you do, you do need a bit of friends to help you out, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Big one! Holy shit! <laughs> one meter 28, still my biggest pike till date. And I think if I will not beat it this year, then it will still remain as my, uh, my best memory of fly versus jerk. Yeah, and my best memory is uh, to be made, I think. Yeah. My very first time, so the pressure is on. I'm gonna make something nice out of this. I think so. Our tactic is to try shallow in the morning, because there's not a lot of sunlight just yet. So we're fishing about two meters deep, over a lot of weeds. And Daniel's fishing a big lure. I'm fishing my favorite lure, the Nays Maze Runner. And I have a very special tactic for this, is that I'm using the gold blades in the morning, just like the color of the sunlight. This will create a lot of flesh with low light conditions. And overall gold is just insane for pike somehow. I remember last year, first day, catching nothing in the first episode. And then the second episode, boom. Giant one, yeah. Dinner bell time, four o'clock. Let's see what oh. today brings. It's the same water. <laughs> Let's hope it works again, yeah? Yeah. Fish on? Yeah. Nice, dude. Nice. It's a fish. It's not big, but there you go. And it counts. <laughs> nice, dude. Abba. First fish. Yes. Oh yeah. On the spinnerbait. Maze runner. Always works, huh? <laughs> it's not very big. It's not very big. 67. First fish of the day. Yeah. Nice fish. Not a big one, but it's beautiful a fish. colors. On the maze runner, of course. Nice. Let's All let right. it go. Yeah. Let's put it back. I don't want to say that that was a bite because maybe I touched the lock on the bottom. Yeah. Because that was, you know, like... Uh, there is a lot of logs also on the yeah, bottom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not 100% bite, but I have a new lure, so I'm going to check it right now. But if that was a bite, that's not a good sign. Normally they have to bite like all in here. That was a strike. What the fuck? Uh, check, check. It's not, not, not a big one. Yeah. I don't know if you see it or not, but that was the first strike. But uh, you can see that it's uh, not uh, a big mouse, so it was like a small pike. And the strike was like, punk, very small one. And uh, I think I set the hooks pretty fast without any result. But let's make one more cast. And maybe Robert, I will ask you to cast that join, direction. Join also. you, yeah? Yeah. So guys, as you know, I wear a moustache. I think the one thing to go for today is the moustache rig. Jamaica. Yaman. Team Kingfisher Rising is a team that you probably recognized if you have been watching our tournaments for a few years. 
The two Germans, Matthias Woll and Marius Miesen, have competed in Perch Pro for the past few years, becoming well known for their spectacular topwater fishing. Now they have set their sights on a different species and are up in eastern Finland to capture real freshwater giants. Sometimes you're too careful. That's why our boat is still existing. <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe. Yeah, I always like to think about the decision before we do it. Oh, we have to check out the, the, the front engine. Is there a rock? No, it's two meter deep. There is no rock. We traveled a lot together, we fished a lot together, and we always had, had a blast on the water. And I like you uh, a lot about you, that we always find a good solution together that works for, for both of us. You can really be enthusiastic about fishing. I like that a lot. Get really, get really into it and keep hammering and so excited. And always the fun. That's, yeah. that's, that's the good part about it. So. <laughs> and I love moustache. But um, the main reason is you have, uh, it pushes a lot of water. It's a smaller lure with some UV action. And I try to get the slow fishes to react to something. So I think that will work pretty well. Fishing it slow, near to the bottom, and down the edges. So hopefully no. the fishes will get them. Follower? No, he took it. Huh? He took it, right, but right under the surface. That's crazy. Sheet. So there are some fishes at least. On this spot, this is a big plateau in the middle of this water. There are some parts that are still completely filled with weed. It was really interesting. Uh, we noticed that the south side of it still has weed on it on some deeper areas and on the flat areas and the northern side there's no much weed left because the days are not long anymore and uh, there was some big storms that put away all the weed and we caught here some nice big pikes. In the training we noticed that pikes are mainly more active in the afternoon after the sun is out a little bit so we tried for one big fish in the morning and after that we tried to catch some numbers. But it's crazy that we ended up on the same spot as the other team. Huh? Can't be a bad sign. We have around close to three meters, lots of weed. Should be a pike somewhere around. And that's where we got the one meter pike three days ago and I'm pretty sure they make some jokes about us that we are too late. <laughs> it's more shallow and shallow, so 2.3 and the other guys also stand right on the on the edge. Oh. Yo! Ah, oh, Jonas. For the first time in Fly vs. Jerk history, we have a new team representing Fly Fishermen. Tournament novices Eric Müller and Jonas Holz representing the two UK-based brands Hardy and Grace. Both of these brands have some impressive history. The story of Hardy dating all the way back to 1872. And now, 150 years later, they have made it all the way in to Fly vs. Jerk. The reason why we are here in this competition is to show you guys uh, how nice fly fishing is and how we can catch with the fly some big or huge pikes in really big uh, waters. The key to, to win the fly vs. Jerk with a fly in our case is that you are so versatile concerning or uh, in the opposite to the, to the spinning guys that you are able to slow everything extremely down, ex especially when the, the temperatures are dropping or the, the fish are getting so much fishing pressure of, uh, in terms of spinning, we are able to present the fly on point for several seconds. Yeah, and also the difference, we can speed yeah. it up yeah. really easy. So we have millions of methods to present the fly. Also the sizes of the fly, we can change easily. Yeah. Different yeah, vibes, different movements, uh, especially in this big lakes where all the fishing pressure, the fly is something special. First bite of the day was definitely no weed. Just felt the strike and a short head, uh, head shake. Now, yeah, let's hope for another take. And we're here fishing uh, kind of huge backwater because, uh, as we told, it's a dam over there and the water streams, not, now it's no stream, they, they close it, but normally it goes over there 
and all this area is a huge, huge backwater. Some, sometimes it's uh, backstream, sometimes it's like now it's no stream at all. And what I think we need some stream to, so the fish will become a little bit more active and start feeding. But the day only started. Yeah, pike. Pike? pike yeah. Big one? Uh, no, small one. Small one. Anyway, better to take the net. First pike of the day. That's a baby. First, first baby. First pike. First pike. baby counter. Wow. V very, very unhooked. gentle bite again. Yeah, Oop. it's unhooked in the net. So, on small, frab gecko. Top five counted from 75, yeah? But it, you, you think it is? No, no, no. It's super small one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Small one. So, yeah, we release it. Mwah. <laughs> I don't know why, but I'm, I'm full of adrenaline. <laughs> that's good, that's good. That's good, good for you. Yeah, that's why I like that kind of tournaments. Bite! See, thank God we came back for those weights. Good fish, this very... This is big lures. This is so, no sm small pike, this is big pike. So far this morning I've been slow. I think Andy's only had one bite so far. This is the second place that we're fishing. We got this nice little shoreline, these tall grass intervals with, with rocky bottoms. We're fishing somewhere around three to six meters. It kind of jumps all around and we're just slowly drifting into each spot, um, casting towards the shore. I'm using the Yankee six inch and also the Capito six inch, anywhere from seven to 10 grams. Really lightweight, big game hooks. No stingers or anything. Let's see if we get any bites. Uh, we have some problems with the display of the fuel. When we start, we had 70%. That means 100 liter. And now the display shows 4%. So that's our problem now. Who? Okay, just got a test message. A friend of us is gonna deliver 40 liters of fuel. Hopefully this will not affect our fishing and our strategy too much. So I will send him our spot and then he will power us with fuel again. Team Bullseye with Marcus Van U and Tim Ackerman is a team new to the Canal Gratis format. The Swiss rod company Bullseye was founded by Marcus in 2014 to develop better rods especially for European predator fishing. Becoming more and more successful over the past few years, they are now here to put the rods to the test in the biggest competition in Europe. We are participating Fly vs. Jerk to have a really good time on the water and of course catch some really big pikes <laughs> and win this competition. The most I like on pike fishing are yeah, the strikes and the fight. The big head shakes, it feels like when you close the door and open the door and close the door and, <laughs> and it stands still. I love I love it. That's for me pike fishing. Our goal is to win Fly vs. Jerk for sure and I think the key to win such tournaments where there are different points for different fish and combinations of them, I think the strategy is really important. Besides that, for sure, our beautiful rods that will set every hook and the lures that will make those pikes bite. We just arrived at the Green Boy. It's right there. It's over there. This is supposed to be... This is the zone. A zone. Every time I reach that buoy, somehow around there, there's always a big one laying. Let's see if it truly is the special buoy. <laughs> You're truly my special boy. Boy? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. You're a very special boy as well. <laughs> fish, fish, yeah. fish. Let's get the net. See what you have. This looks a bit bigger. It looks a bit bigger, but not much. See if it's, oh, that's, for, yeah, that's one for it's the measurement book. Yep, got it. Nice. <laughs> it's not, yeah, it's, it's nice. It's not huge, but it's at the green buoy. And we're getting bigger. All right, are you ready? Yeah. It's like 80? Yeah, it's a little over 80. Nice. Yeah, it is 83. 83. Nice fish. Again, on the spinner bait. You got Daniel a little bit. Yeah. That's what pike fishing is all about. <laughs> nice. <laughs> the end all of right. the week, our fingers are going to be bleeding. But hey, nice fish. Nice fish. Well done, dude. All right, let's let it go. Go. Oh, there he goes. Ready? What we are uh, trying to do today is to go for numbers. 
because this river system holds a lot of pikes. What we are doing now is uh, we're fishing whole max depth of uh, 9.8. We found uh, bait fish around here and the bait fish always moves around in that hole. It wasn't that easy the last days because as you see it's foggy, it's freezing, it's cold, it's... As you see, we need like this defreezing thing from the airport because it's just everything so icy. Sometimes the line gets stuck and it feels like it's almost like a strike or some, some fishes are touching the line, but it's just the ice. Guys, when you are out fishing, Enjoy what you see. Doesn't matter how cold, if it's rainy or not. Be happy. Check the view out and just enjoy the silence. Yes, good one. Fish on. Take the net, yeah. Good one. And now I just changed to bigger lure, so it's not too bad. Yeah. Where is it? It's, it's in the net. It's in oh. the net. Giga Bugule. Who's a Huber? The first fish is in the net. So it's here and there. It's like a. There it is. What is it? It's a. No, oh, it's over here. 98, right? Yeah. Just changed to a bigger lure. I was really slowly retrieved. Six meters of depth. Just slightly over the bottom. And then this little beauty. Mm, took it. Duesentag, my first ever caught fly versus jerk pike. And I have to tell you, mm, it tastes like more. Mm. Mm. <laughs> but it tastes good. Good is cold. We haven't been in these waters for ages. We haven't practiced here, but we know this place. And it's always, you know, a, a, a hard thing because you don't know. One year ago we were here. <sighs> I'll go over to the trusty one. Hulken, 25 centimeters. This is pure magic. Yeah. What did I tell you? First cast, you know? Decent? No. Guys, this, this, is, a this is a decent fish. Down, down, down. Yeah, you can't see it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. <laughs> yes! You know, when you get that feeling, you know, it's, it's Hulken time. You know? <laughs> yes! Yes! Pike number two, you know, you get that feeling. But look at that, I'll show you. Look at that. You know, how can you resist it? You cannot. Ladies and gentlemen, look at that. This is what you get when you put Jigen in the color hulk and with UV hooks, you know? Pike, they cannot resist it, you know? What did I think of, you know, not putting this on from the start? Look at that beautiful pike. Are you ready? Yeah. yeah. There you go. I have, let me see, 95. 95 centimeter. Beautiful northern pike and pike number two. I said this one time and I say it again. You know, if, you, if I only could have one color, this is the one, a really decent one. This is, you know, 95 centimeters is a really nice pike to have top five. Awesome, man, two nice fish. Two nice pike, yeah. Really good, really good. I think somebody lost something in the line here. Something there. Ah, uh, doesn't matter, it's the Bustine. Please. <laughs> Strike for Gappy. It's a new color, really flashy. It's a nice bait. Oh, oh, oh! Off of it, ice and shit everywhere. Team Catch with Care's journey in Fly vs Jerk already started in season three, and since then they have been a favorite in all competition and have several victories. The number of throws that Stefan Truman Trumstedt has taken over the years is hard to count. But one thing is certain, with Pierre Monnieret in the boat, they are the big threat to all other teams. 
We have uh, been lucky to be on top four times in these competitions in the past. And uh, we have lots of nice memories, but I think the, the, the best memory was when we introduced the Muras mouse in this competition and Pierre hooked up a really big one up north. I think that's the one of the best memories I think. Yes, that this one was was, was crazy, yeah. Because we don't know what to expect uh, on that place and with that bait. Oh, we know that bait was good, I used for a long time before, but uh, but was crazy to just net that fish. Yes, 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 yes! It's still my personal best at the, uh, now. And uh, hook that fish on competition is, of course, uh, it's, it's, it's so much uh, adrenaline and everything, so that was good. I missed one! Ooh! Did you see the yeah. rod? Oh, Jesus Christ. It was totally, I feel it. I, I was thinking, was it the reel because of the ice and so on? And I stopped and then I did a click. Boom! That's good. I had it on the rod, eh? You can't lose that one. It's so, you don't gonna have so many chances today. And it, this was a really good take. The second time the fish took, it was like, ooh, ooh. And it's really hard to use the jerk bait here because of the ice. It's minus five. The problem is really hard to use the jerk bait. Yeah. I try, but you can't even cast this. Look, the reel is open and everything is stuck. I know. I'm afraid to lose the bait also. Look, I can't do nothing with that. It would be nice to have a little bit less ice on the rod. The teams in the Nordics are struggling with the cold, but the pikes seem to be liking the weather. In the Netherlands, Team Bullseye are not having the greatest start with a broken fuel gauge. So while they are waiting to be supplied with gas, they're trying to catch their first pike in Fly vs. Jerk. Our strategy today was to catch a big one in the first hours. We were that close to it, but it didn't work out. That's fishing. And now we changed to smaller lures way smaller and lighter rods and try to go for numbers. Fish! Good one, good one. I think leader touch. I touched it. <laughs> Those guys are powerful today. It's gonna be a fun day, I guess. So we just started the second part of our strategy to fish for numbers. So this is what a pike looks like. Took some time, but the numbers came worked out really fast <laughs> so I'm really confident to continue with fish like this and bigger and there he goes first clicker in order for a pike to count on the top five board it must be over 75 centimeters this fish didn't even get a chance on the measuring board and in my eyes it was probably not far from 75 centimeters Anyway, switching to a smaller bait paid off right away for Team Bullseye. And this means that all teams, except Team Relax and Team Hardy Grace, have something on the paper to declare in the lunch report that will happen at noon. For those of you who are interested in uh, fly fishing, we will introduce you some, yeah, some nice tips and tricks and give you some information about how we fish and what we are using for rod, reel and especially the lines because we have different depth and different kinds of um, yeah, fishing in these waters. And one thing from the boat fishing is pretty important, the stripping basket. If you throw it on the, in the bottom of the boat, it will tangle everywhere and um, also on the other rods or some other stuff. So it's pretty important to have these, um, yeah, to cast the line out without a tangle. So at the moment, I'll try to catch some pikes on the bigger fly. This is around maybe 33 centimeters. Really slim because you can cast it much better than a fly with a lot of volume. So we have some wind and we try at the moment really long cast, quite fast drift. Want to cover as much water as we can. Let's see what we can do. I switched to a fly completely out of uh, synthetic fibers. It's a really bright one. I think that's uh, the roach imitation, pure synthetic, to get the fly a little bit faster down into the danger zone where the pikes are waiting. And it's also much easier to cast it through the wind because it's uh, no water is served in it. Let's hope the best that we'll get the first pike, pike in the boat soon. Okay, I see some boat 
on the horizon. It's already closer. I guess it's going to be our fuel. If you ever wondered how angels look like, <laughs> they look like this. They come on the water. They don't come from heaven. Hey, vielen Dank. Vielen Dank. Vielen Dank, vielen Dank. Danke. Tim is going to continue fishing. I'm going to fuel up the boat. Hi, hi, hi. No, no. You had no problem. Fish. <laughs> this problem. So far, it's a problem. Yes. We'll figure it out. Yes, next place. Holy crap, Andy. We're two hours into the day. Two hours? Two hours into the day, and we've only had one bite. Relax is undoubtedly one of the most classic brand names in the tackle business in Europe. We saw Team Relax perform in Spain in Sander Pro, and now they're back for the Apex Predator. Andy Srybitek and Daniel Kowalczyk, the son of the late founder of Relax Lures, are here to show us the reason why Relax Lures are classic. I am captain and team for Fly and Jerk 50. I agree. I agree. Andy's the captain on this journey. I'm crazy fisherman. I love bike. My partner's a crazy fisherman who's a walking encyclopedia of fishing knowledge. Honestly, the big advantage of our team is Andy and his vast knowledge. For me, Pike, this very strong bite and non-stop action. This very beautiful fish. I agree, Andy. I love it too for those reasons. The heart-pounding strikes and the non-stop action on the water. The key for us to win Fly vs. Jerk is that we have a vast array of different lures and products. And what we won't do is what we never do in life is we never give up. We'll constantly keep casting, keep casting, honestly, to the final seconds of this tournament. Hopefully everyone else is having a crappy, maybe, crappy start to the day. Maybe, but maybe this moment is not eating. So the hunt goes on, but trying to figure out what and where. But the only way to figure out what and where is to stop along all the places that you more or less know and test them all. Pike, 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 pike. Leader touch, leader touch, better leader touch. Leader touch yes. and in the net. Okay, that's even smaller. Another color of gecko. Have to be gentle with that small one because it's gonna grow bigger. That's yours, my friend. That's yours. That's ours. Bye bye. It's we, like a warm up. We, yeah? we just start to wake up, guys. But you saw this one already took it in. Yeah. All yeah. the lure was in yeah. and the heat, yeah. the heat was Two like, like it needs to be. For those of you who have been following Canal Gratis for some time, the pike nut Anton Fisherman will be a familiar face. He has been adventuring to extreme places with the Canal Gratis team for quite a few years now, such as the insane pike trip in Siberia back in 2020. Now, forming team Frapsetrix with Robert Walters, he is here to show us his ESOC skills in competition fishing. I don't know what about Roberts, but uh, I follow Flavio Jerk from the very, very beginning. And uh, like uh, many years ago, it was uh, kind of a dream. If somebody told me that uh, I'm gonna be uh, inside the project, uh, I would never believe. I mean, the show, the show Flavio vs. Jerk is uh, top of the top of, uh, of shows. Just fishing, it's become a little bit boring. Now you don't uh, shake when you caught a 10 kilo plus pipe, you don't shake anymore. But in a tournament like that, oof, it's another feeling. So you, 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 your legs start shaking again, and I love that. When I saw the teams which will be up on it this year, I think I will want to be over the team Jigger, because I think uh, they are really skilled anglers. And uh, not more like showmen, but like really like skilled anglers. And uh, I think I want to beat them. That was I'm talking about. That guy is tournament angler. I'm a fishing guide. So that's my work <laughs> with the net. And that no, guy no. catches everything. Your, 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 your work will be my friend with the big pikes. We'll see, we'll see. Also, our strategy is that uh, I am working with smaller, smaller lures and Anton is working with bigger ones. And that's maybe can work out also on numbers if we get lucky. 
I'm using this hose. It has a ball inside so I can pump. And now the hose is completely filled with fuel. All I have to do now is wait. Are we on the spot, Tim? Uh, the whole time. Okay, so what are the pikes doing then? I have two fish. Barsh. That's a one barsh. I think it's a perch. Oh, it's a big perch. And this is a really good perch. <laughs> Welcome to Perch Pro. <laughs> <laughs> On our Liqueo, it's a very uh, universal for some bladed jigs or crankbaits, twitch baits, or something like that. It would be a shame if I don't show you this very, very beautiful perch. Beautiful one. Look at these <laughs> massive, beautiful perch. So now I'm gonna change to a little bit heavier chatterbait. And as a trailer, I'm using our Lameli Slim, it's called. A really nice shed, especially for sander and perch, but perfectly for a trailer as a chatterbait. And as a small tip, you can maybe try in case your chatterbait is running too shallow with the trailer, with the paddle tail. You can just rotate the lure, let the tail stick upwards. I hope this will do the trick, so I'm gonna fish a little bit closer to the weeds. Fish on! Good one? A small one, but a fish. You touch the leader by yourself? Yeah, yeah. So that's change with a heavier chatterbait and rotate the trailer instantly paid off. That's the small pike there. And that was the chatterbait. 21 grams with Lameli Slim, 12 and a half centimeter, upside down. Worked. So this is gonna be the second clicker. I don't know if it's if it's you know only me. It's feeling a little bit warmer, isn't it? A little bit, yeah. Yeah. It's not as foggy as it was. Yeah, it's starting to clear up a little bit. Should we try to go a little bit more in? To the bay? Yeah. Let's try it. Yeah. Then we make a decision what we're going to do after that. Yeah. Team Jiga.new with Bjorn Bostrom and Jakob Hank entered Fly vs. Jerk through Sportfish Masters back in 2017 and have since then been a true competitor and won Fly vs. Jerk two times. Their friendship goes back a long way and together they run a sport fishing tackle shop in Stockholm. What's the best moment we've had in Fly vs. Jerk? What's your favorite moment? That crazy fishing we had last day in Fly vs. Jerk 13, you know, I, this was incredible. Great pike fishing, you know, be the best when you have to be the best. Yeah. I was a net guy, but I had a, I had a blast. Yeah. Are, are you kidding me? No. Nope. Okay, I'll just leave my rod here. I have my, my favorite memory from Fly vs. Jerk, all the years we've done is that same episode, the last episode of Fly with the Jerk 13, when you start crying. You're laughing, you start crying. It was, <laughs> this, that was, that was magical. Yeah. That was magical. Yeah. Okay, take it on this side. I haven't seen it yet. Could be a very small one. Oh, it's a decent fish. Yep. Well done, buddy. Well done. Oh, might be approved fish number three. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I have the head, I had like 82. No, 81. 81 centimeters, approved fish number three. Let's put her back. <laughs> Feisty. Jigen is killing it, man. <sighs> Bye. Hello. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Jump in. Big lures? No. Small lures? No. No one really was out in the lake at 5.36 in the morning to get that morning bite. So we're all kind of starting off with that, you know. Early, early afternoon, is it? Is there such a thing as early afternoon? Well, around that 10, 11, 12 o'clock time limit. So I think, and I, hope are having the same issues as we are and 
are waiting for that strike. Some bites in the afternoon, say around one, two, three o'clock, before we have to finish the day. Oh. Fish? Yes. Now we can take out that paperwork. <laughs> Said earlier in the day I was gonna catch 70s and 80s while Andy catches his 100, 110 meters. Patience and just keep casting. And do you know what color? I put that clear copper with that blue back on. I think that was my fourth or fifth cast. Yeah, this 79. Then the you fish. I know, but. Bye. Bye. Yeah, bye. Bye. Thank you so much, Andy. Danny's patience finally paid off, and Team Relax are now, for the first time ever, on the top five board. Yeah. Good, 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 good. My good fish. That's a good one. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. Ready? Yep. Oh, that's yep. a big. That's a fish. Yeah, we have it. Nice bite. Good job. Not a big one, but nice to get a bite. It was a good take. Again on the double mouse. It's good. I think it's a little bit crazy because it's so cold. Minus five degrees. We have three contact and two fish in the net already. I think it's longer than 85. I no, think no, it's, it's not. It's over, over uh, nearly 90, I think. Zero, yeah. You have? Yeah, zero. Uh, 89. 89. Nice one again on the double mouse, 89, but that's good. It's a nice fish. She take it hard, so it's good. We have like it's the third contact we have. Truman lost one on the on Goopy also just before. So yeah, it's good. I think we have a chance to catch more fish. So we put it back and we keep on going. It's a nice fish. Bye bye. Nice one. Hey. Ha <laughs> ha! Good. Yeah, have a have a look on you to your phone, good. but I think it's I will check it's the phone real quick. It's not good because there's eight meters. I will check the phone real quick and then we are sure. We are fishing there and going there and see that it's too deep for a... Fish. Good one. Oh, Pimsel. No, small one. All the fish. But long head shakes. Let me know, I can get the next. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's... Oh, no. 75 maybe? No, no. A little touched. Maybe a 70 pike. Quick unhooking in the water. Put him on the measure board if you're not sure. Doesn't take too much time. Ah, well, maybe it's. Hey! <laughs> it's 77. Hey. Just one for the numbers, but it's 77, so we can put it onto our top five. But hopefully, at the end of the day, it will be only a small for the clicker, but really nice pike. Some green marks. It was really cool. Fishing with my dentist 2 meter 20. And that was my first pike in fly versus jerk. So here's the clicker, here's the lure. Some good tips for you. I fish this lure often on this one because there's more rolling action. And I have two of small tungsten weights, maybe then a five, two times five gram. And so I can fish it a little bit more deeper over the weights until yeah two and a half meter and i have also a nice uh, rolling action and in the past days we checked that this rolling action is something unnormal which they don't see so it works and for more tips visit learn to fish with the first pike on the top five board and some gas in the tank, things are starting to look better for Team Bullseye. So far, there's still a slight advantage for the teams that are fishing in the Nordics, but as so often with pike fishing, it's a test of patience. Oh, after I caught that first fish, I'm sticking with what I was doing. I figured it just took a while to get a bite, so if I don't get any type of other reactions in like an hour or two, then I'll make some slight adjustment and changes, whether it'll be in colors or grams. Then, and it is slow, fast, slow. Then, no, slow. Everything fast. Do you think the fish move slow in the water? <laughs> you ever see bigger, voo, voo, voo? The hell if I go like this? He'll catch up with it. <laughs> then, no disco, this, no disco, this fishing, no disco. <laughs> 
slowly, slowly. No, this day fishing, sway and jerk. The importance of crank speed is a hot topic in the boat of Team Relax, and they don't seem to be completely on the same page here. But perhaps that is precisely the recipe for success. One fishes fast and one fishes slowly. Perfect schlag. Again. Mustache. Mustache trick. Go and get him, Jay. Oh! That hurts! <laughs> I've got some pain because uh, I broke my rib. The funny thing is, it was we tried to refill the tank from the boat. <laughs> yeah! Yes. Good one? Uh, no, at least a fish. Leader touch. Leader yeah. touch. Yes. Oh. As you see, there's another hooser. Thanks for that, Tim Passi. You want to have it? No. Touch it. Oh. Perfect schlag. Now the party starts. Maybe they like bigger lures. Yeah, that was my first fish. Mustache, mustache rig, as you see, it works. Now we come back to the pain. So it's a pain in the dude. Because we tried to refill the tank and I put all I've got in the, in the back of the boat and there was one hit that really hurts and... Did you punch me? He said. <laughs> yeah, it felt, like, it felt like hell. It was... I thought Marius hit me just because I'm stupid sometimes, but he didn't. Yeah, and right now I have to deal with it and it works. It works, we have a big chance. And when you have a dream, you will also accept some pain for that. So, keep on using. Let's do it and try to get some ice. No, too much ice. But it looks very nice. To roll up the field from behind, you first have to get behind. I don't know if that's English or not. <laughs> There was a bite. There was a bite. Right in front of us. Yeah, maybe they start on, get on a little bit later today. It feels like that they are just nibbling. Push. Big push. They're so powerful today. They fight like hell. <laughs> <laughs> they go in the drag even if they're pretty small. I hope it's not going to tangle up completely. Nice one, Tim. Next clicker. We can measure it, but I think it's only around 70, not 75. Yeah, I think it's gonna be too small. No? <laughs> you see? It's 75. So, we continue with the top five of this really beautiful Dutch pikes. Two fish on the top board for Team Bullseye, who are fishing in warmer Netherlands. In terms of weather, there are quite large contrasts between the teams today. The cold has hit the Northern Europe hard just in time for this year's competition. The temperature is 7.1. It's a deep hole here. Normally it's uh, an eddy, no current between two strong currents. Behind the island here, it's, it's uh, not so much current and a little bit deeper. Should contain uh, some bait fish and hopefully a uh, night nice fish. For me, this is not good. I want some sun now, when, when it's so uh, cold and late in the, in the autumn. Beginning of winter actually up here, so uh, hopefully the sun breaks through and, and we get a little bit more heat. We need that for the gears, for the fish and everything. Fish! Fish! It's good. No, no. Yeah, we have it! I said it's always something here. I was casting just on the edge of the stream. And I think the fish was falling. Good, I switch to the same uh, color. Double tail, slowly, slowly, schmack. Perfecto. Ah, uh, but that's good fish, 90 plus. You think? Yeah. Yeah, 98. 98. 99. 99. No, 90, uh, yeah, 19, no, 99. Yeah, yeah, 99. Yeah, 99. Zero, yeah. Yeah, 99. Yeah. Ah, it's nice, huh? Number three. Number three. Good, that's good really size. Really cool. Oh, it's heavy. 
This is seven kilo, I think. I'm thinking we have a decent score at the moment. But it, it is hard to say. As we, as we said before, we know CWC. Okay, this is either very, 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 very decent, 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 this decent. This is a big fish. Ooh. Nice. <laughs> Boom. Boom. God, I love pike fishing. God, I love pike fishing. If you ain't starting this yet, you should. This is so much fun. Two degrees in the air, four degrees in the water, and I'm having a blast. I'm not even cold. Come here, beautiful. Let me show you to the camera. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Wait. Beyond this one feels. This one feels. I don't know. I don't know. Where I don't know. Which side? Uh, left. Oh. Okay. Nice. It wasn't decent. Good job, Jacob. I'll click both so we have that done. Two nets from Catch With Care. Thank you, Stefan, that we have it. But look at this. Look at this beautiful pike. Look at this. This oh, is a good size, man. This is a nice fish. Really nice fish. And this is how they take Jigen Hulken. They cannot resist it. This is how they take it. Look at that. Okay, I'll quickly check mine. I don't think it's gonna cut it, but I'll check it. This one is not 75. Let's take a quick yeah, check. She oh yeah, she's 80, man. Yeah. 80, 80 and a little bit, yeah. 80 and a little bit, yeah. Okay. <laughs> this one is nice. 96, 96, no wait, 97 is there, 97. Nice, double strike, 97, 80 centimeters. We have a top five right now that we need to improve, but still, we still have it right now. Let these guys go. Let these guys go home. Team Jigger.nu are having a great morning or early afternoon, as Danny and Team Relax is calling it. We're getting closer to the lunch report, and Bjorn and Jacob are at the moment the only team with a full top five. Oh, yep, yep, I saw the strike. Pike, 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 pike. Here it is, okay. He don't even give me uh, a chance to make a cast. <laughs> we start to warm up. I just saw that it was following and, and make, made a turn near the boat. Not, not, not the hugest one, but anyways, it's it worked out. Take care about your small gecko. It's it's uh, new custom colors. Oh, nice pikey. Nice pikey. Nice Imagine pikey. the same 10 plus kg. <laughs> <laughs> There will be 25, 25 colors coming out, yeah. And the color, colors are all are amazing. You want to just try the next one, the next one, the next one. But this is this is a really good one. Hey, my friend, calm down a little bit. Let me, let me make a cast. Okay, okay, that's good. You can you can do that. But you noticed uh, it's the place where the backwater starts. Yes. This is this is a bit calmer than we started. Yeah, yeah 10 meters away we have yeah. current, and here it's already back current a little bit. And the bites also started in this region. Yeah, yeah. It's so beautiful scenery and all the screens are off. So we have time and opportunity to, to look at that beautiful nature. Ah, there it's coming. Nice. Thanks, man. Okay, keep on fishing, I'll do it. Thanks. Thank you. We just decided to stay 10 more minutes because we haven't fished this edge here. So um, it's not a biggie, but it's a fish. And he inhaled it. All the hooks are there. Look at the belly. Oh, we should have weighed the other one. Huh? We should have weighed the other one. Do you feel a bream or something? So it is like 80... 83, 84. Five. As you see, we enjoy some sun. It's getting a bit warmer, clearer sky. Maris has a good... 85 and there are some plants left in the pocket now we are enjoying that it's getting warmer hopefully this will activate the fishes nice, nice fish <laughs> what a strike man <laughs> we were just talking like he, he saw a fish fall ah, it's probably not the same fish i was like ah you should, you should have spot locked it he said ah, i'll continue <laughs> <laughs> we move 10 meters further. Bam! <laughs> At the boat. <laughs> nice. It's a decent fish, fish, I think. Yeah, it's all right. Yeah. I mean, it's not. <gasps> big. 
my heart is like, <laughs> did it again. All right. Yeah, let's do it. Bring it in, nice and fat. Not very, not huge, but give it a quick, quick measure. Quick, quick measure. Ah, oh, it is. It's 78. Beautiful fish, really fat. Nice one, and nice again and on the spinnerbait, on the maze runner. Yeah, perfect. Nice. If we get a 90, we'll weigh it. Yeah. But this is not gonna get the weight for sure, so. All right, let's put it back. First fish for me, on my lucky rod. This is the 128 rod. With the 128 bait. <sighs> this one always does it for me. Silver maze runner, 21 gram, size large, two blades with the nace predator as a trailer it's perfect nice it will be fine isn't it jonas oh, sorry once again one strike one big pike it's enough for today yeah, definitely. right definitely that's the that's the target all or nothing just aiming for that one big girl hoping that she's in the mood soon i'm pretty sure kingfisher frap and relax the other guys i think they fished uh, further north minimum one of them go for the numbers so they will have some decent numbers in the boat, I think. Today it's a bit boring for us, but if we get one bike from the old lady, yep. then we have some serious trouble. So we come to a uh, new place here in the river. It's uh, a little bit more structure, big boulders, big rocks. Uh, we're fishing between one and four meters again, and um, usually contains lots of you know good sized pike here, not so many small ones. So not the numbers, but uh, you know, good top five fish. Come on, this is crazy. This came out of nowhere. And of course, Hulken, this is a smaller one that our, our, it doesn't fit the paper, but still it's a pike and uh, a welcome one. So now we have number nine. We're still looking for that meter fish to approve the, the top five score. Soon the first episode is over. Yeah, it was okay, I would say. It wasn't near to, uh, not, not, not even what I expected. What, what do you think, what is the biggest fish caught now? I don't know, but uh, I bet somebody caught all, all over 110. I think the biggest one is 6.4. Oh, so you don't believe in other teams. No. <laughs> Last cast before lunch report. Yeah. Make it count. I would have thought we catch uh, smaller fish, but I'm happy to for, for, the, for the bigger fish. But now we have to see how the lunch report goes. Yeah, very curious. If we go for the big fish or if we go for the numbers. Scary and exciting at the same time. Yeah, we will see how it is for everyone and see how the fishing has been. For us, it's been quite okay. Hi, it's Team Hardy and Grace. Um, yeah, our day was, um, till yet, pretty tough. We have zero fish, but um, still time to get the big one. Good afternoon, everybody. Team Relax here. We've had a kind of a tough, horrible start to the day since the morning, but uh, we've had two bites all day and one nice fish, only 79 centimeters though. Hello, here's Team Bullseye with fuel in the tank of our boat again. As a side note, we caught four fish with a total length of top five of 152 centimeters. Here is Team Neistroft. We have a total of three fish and oh, the biggest, the big five is 161. Hey, that's Matthias from Team Kingfisher. We have in total four fish with a top five of 138 83. 83 sorry and the biggest one is 98 okay hello guys uh, it's team frap zetrix anton antonovich and robert walters uh, we have in total six fish and we have nothing to report for top five and for the big fish unfortunately Okay, it's team uh, Catch With Care. Uh, we have uh, three fish to report. Uh, the total on centimeters is 295 and the base fish is 9.2 kilo. 
All right, guys, uh, this is Team Jigar, uh, Bjorn and Jacob. Uh, we have a total number of 11 fish, uh, top five, four, four, two, and the biggest fish was five, four, and five. Good job, guys. Good job. Good job. Take care, be safe, okay? Take care, guys. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Ja, det tror man här. Hallå! I just want to talk to you for a quick. Yeah, no problem. No problem. Okay, because uh, it looks like uh, a mistake has been made. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's it's a monster. Yes. Oh. Oh, that's a good fish. Yeah, but that means our fish doesn't count. I stole your bike. <laughs> Thank you for making last year's final show at the Swedish Sport Fishing Fair such a success. Now we will do it all over again, but this time it will take place on Saturday, March 16th. We will show the final episode at Krog och Company Bar and Nightclub in Central Jönköping. The after party will take place at the same venue. For more information, kanalgradis.se slash fly versus jerk.